everyone welcome children to this class on admission and here we are doing one more new sub topic which is called hidden goodwill okay hidden goodwill uh, is basically goodwill valuation now goodwill valuation meaning not straight forward the amount of goodwill the value of goodwill is basically hidden in the sum this is of course hidden goodwill all right so if you haven't watched the videos earlier videos please go back watch it it's all given there in the description box all the links okay now let us start with this this is sum number 63 of uh, bk goel and the sum is here for you all right so what does the sum have to say the following figures have been extracted from the books of x and y who share profits and losses in the ratio of 7 is to 3 fine X is capital, Y is capital, reserve, profit and loss account, and advertisement expenditure. I Meaning these are the relevant figures apart from other figures from the balance sheet. Relevant to calculate what? To calculate capital employed. Meaning, what is the capital employed or net worth of the business based on these figures? We can calculate that. Then, on this date, Z was admitted for one fifth share. And the new profit ratio will be 3 is to 1 is to 1. Z brings 3 lakhs for his capital. Pass. Journal entry for recording goodwill. Now, capital is given, but other things are given, but there is no information about any goodwill. Neither based on average profit, nor super profit, nothing is given. So, obviously, if we need to find goodwill, we need to find some other way out to find out goodwill. And that other way out is based on the capitals of the partners. One, based on the actual capital employed in the business after Z's admission. And what is the capital employed based on Z's share of capital and Z's share of profit? There are two ways to calculate capital employed here. And that's what exactly we have done here. Based on capitals of old partners. Old partners are capital kitna? It's been given. X is capital, Y is capital. But <clears throat> we're talking about capital employed, not just the amount standing in the credit of capital account. Here reserves be any kind, right? Profit and loss account shows a credit balance that also belongs to the partners. That all of that is added, plus Z's capital is also added because now Z will be a part of the firm. We are talking about capital employed after Z's admission. We need to subtract advertisement expense because that is an unwritten of loss. So these things we have already discussed earlier. The reserves, accumulated profits, all added to the capital. And we subtract any unwritten of or accumulated loss or deferred revenue expenditure from that amount. So capital employed earlier, that has come to 9,40,000. Remember, we need to include Z's capital also. There is bringing in 3 lakhs. Existing was 2, 6 lakhs 40. Abhinka Mila ke 9 lakh 40 million capital employee of the partnership firm. Alright. Now, second one. Based on new partner's capital. Agar Z ko 1 fifth share ke liye laya ja hai. What is the share of Z? 1 fifth. And he is bringing in 3 lakhs meaning for the total capital of the firm. Uska 1 fifth 3 lakh hona chahi. Right. Total capital of the firm, Z ke admission ke baal, jo bhi hai. Of that, one fifth Z should be getting as his capital. Correct. So, how much is that total capital based on Z's share and Z's capital? Of course, we can find it out this way. Capital employed based on new partner's capital. New partner's capital, 3 lakhs. Into the reciprocal of his share. 5 by 1. 1 fifth share, na, 5 by 1. Into multiply it into 15 lakhs. Okay? It's just the same thing. If you do not understand the reciprocal thing, take it as x. Total capital hai x. Uska 1 fifth hona chahiye, 3 lakhs. Therefore, x kit now. 5 times 3 lakhs. So, this is 15 lakhs. So, now this and this. Why are they not the same? Z q zada hai kara hai. Correct? Iske isaab se to isko 1 fifth agar kare z ka capital. Why is he bringing in more? He is bringing in more because the net worth of the business is not just 9 lakh 40. It is 15 lakhs. Therefore, 
Definitely, there is this goodwill element involved here. A little goodwill, it is a hidden goodwill. Hai. So, hidden goodwill is now. If this I subtract from 2 and 1, from 2 I subtract 1, 15 lakhs minus 9 lakh 40,000, I get 5 lakh 60,000. So, how much excess we calculate for the net worth? 5 lakh 60,000. That is the goodwill of the firm. Correct? So, goodwill of the firm is calculated as this capital based on new partners capital minus based on uh, whatever the old partner, the existing partners, the balance sheet figures and all that. So, 5,60,000 is our goodwill of the firm. Now, Z is supposed to bring in one fifth share because you've been asked to buy the journal entries. Now, one fifth of 5,60,000 is <coughs> 1 lakh 12,000. So, it is Z ko lana shahi. But is he getting Nothing is written in the sum. So, jab nahi diya hai, he said, has brought in his share of premium for goodwill. Please pass the entry, assuming that Z has not brought in the share of premium. Right? Premium for goodwill. So, kwan sa account debit karte hai case mein? Yes. New partners, current account. And we credit back to the old partners, capital in the sacrifice ratio. So, journal entry hai hona chahiye. Sacrifice ratio, obviously, we can find out. We have been given the old ratio and new ratio. So, old ratio minus new ratio, sacrifice ratio is coming to 1 is to 1. Now, this part we've already done. Please refer to the video earlier, posted earlier. So, now 1 is to 1. So, obviously, you jitna bhi leka rata hai, and he's supposed to get, we've debited that to Z's current amount, 1,12,000. 1 is to 1, meaning half goes to Z excess capital and half goes to Y's capital. This is premium for goodwill entry. Of course, a key entry over because no cash man is not Z premium. Okay. So you have been passed, uh, asked to pass the journal entry for recording goodwill only. So we need not bring in, uh, you know, pass the entry for Z bringing in capital. So if goodwill ka entry is not then we said goodwill ka entry pass the entry. Correct? So this is how you will find hidden goodwill. When you have been asked to calculate or pass entry for goodwill, but there is no other information given in the sum, you capital employed nikalo and go this method. One, two, three. Go stepwise, write it properly so that you can apply the same procedure in all the sums. Alright? So I hope this was easy, simple, yes, and not complicated at all. So please do uh, practice more sums like this. And uh, do like my video, do not press, you know, do not uh, forget to press the like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, what are you doing? Please subscribe to my channel and keep watching the videos as and when I upload it. Please press on the bell icon also. Alright? Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Keep doing accounts the simplest of way.